Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about a, um, a problem that I have. Um, I have an addiction. Um, I know I shouldn't be proud of it, but I am. Um, I'm addicted to highlighters. <laughs> no, but seriously, today's video, if you can tell from the title, is going to be my top five highlighters of all time. These are my favorite highlighters, the highlighters that I use on the daily. Um, I rotate them and they're just the highlighters that I would recommend to everyone out there who's looking for great highlighters. So if you're as obsessed with highlighters as I am and you want to know what my favorite highlighters are, then you should just keep watching. So, okay, let me just grab for my highlighters. The first highlighter that I absolutely adore is actually not a highlighter. It's an eyeshadow. And this one's Stila Kitten. Um, it's, I, I think it's Stila's most popular shadow. And honestly, I know why. Because it's a beautiful shadow, but it's an even more beautiful highlighter. Um, I have it in a compact, but I think you can get it in several different palettes. So if you have a palette that has Kitten on it, try it as a highlighter. I promise you it'll be so worth it. What I love about this highlighter is just how buttery it is and just how buttery it applies into the skin. It melts into the skin. There's no like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I honestly love this so much because it just melts into the skin and makes everything look so beautiful. You can intensify it as much as you want. You can leave it like very um, intense or you can make it a little bit softer. It depends on whatever you want. Um, also with this highlighter, hi ooh. also with this highlighter, I've found that it is very long lasting, and whenever I put it on, it lasts throughout the day, even if I don't wear a primer, even if I don't set my face. So I really, really like that about this one. And yeah, if you have Steel Like an Eyeshadow, definitely give this a try because it's a beautiful dual purpose eyeshadow. Next one that I have here is one of the first ColourPop highlighters I ever got. Um, this one's in Double Dip and it's a Satin Pearl. So basically, this one came out before they even had their highlighter line. Um, but this highlighter is just, it hasn't dried out yet. I've had it for about two years, I think. And honestly, it isn't intense, like bam, intense, but it gives your skin a very beautiful beautiful sheen like it doesn't have glitter it's sort of metallic so it gives your skin a beautiful sheen and it is very natural I found it's more on the natural side so if you're looking for a highlighter that's like boom highlighter I uh, this one's not for you but I like to use this whenever I'm just not wearing makeup and I just want to liven up my skin I add a little bit of this and it almost makes my skin look like glossy and like very healthy um, so I really really like that about this one I also love layering other highlighters on top of this one because I find that it makes the other highlighters last longer and it doesn't look like overly chunky since this doesn't, since this doesn't have glitter or anything, it's just very satiny, so it's perfect to apply other highlighters on top and make them even more intense, but normally I like to wear this on its own. It's very, very pretty. Next highlighter is my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Um, it is like, no surprise, a lot of people love this one and a lot of people love the Becca highlighters. Um, they're incredible, they have a beautiful formula, they apply very well on the skin. But Champagne Pop is my favorite not only because it's Jaclyn Hills and I love her, but I find the color to be very unique. Um, most of my highlighters are sort of goldish because I do have like a warm complexion and warm tones look good on me. But, oh, that was a big swatch. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. But basically I love this one because its color is sort of different. My skin is dark enough to be able to wear this as a highlighter. I know to some people it isn't like the best highlighter out there. And I accidentally dipped my nail into it. But whatever. Um, honestly, I love this one because it just makes my skin look very beautiful. It contrasts perfectly with my skin tone. And even though it doesn't last super, super long on my skin, I don't know why I think it's just my skin reacting to the product, but it is a very beautiful color. It looks very good on me, and I can make it as intense as I want. 
this isn't a highlighter that you can like use sparingly, no. Whenever you apply this, it will look very intense. I found that it's beautiful with my skin, and I have found that a lot of people like this one. Next one is also an eyeshadow, and this one is the Metal Crush Eyeshadow in Thunderstruck from Kat Von D. So, I've heard a lot of people talk about this one, but I saw Samantha from Battle Lash here on YouTube use this as a highlighter mixed with champagne pop, and I was like, mm, I gotta buy this. So, when I was in Sephora, I went to the display, and I was like, hmm, this one looks very plain, you know? They were like beautiful colors. There were some reds and purples and greens and blues and some even gorgeous brown ones. And I was like, why would I get this one? You know, like, mm, I mean, I already have other highlighters. When I went to swatch it, you just, you're going to die. When I went to swatch this one, I was in love. Like, in love. It's this one down here. In love. Okay, this eyeshadow has like a peachy undertone so it looks just to when you just look at it it looks like a light gold shadow sometimes it can even look white if you if I'm not wearing glasses you know but whenever I swatched it on my skin it had like this duochrome peachiness to it and I am obsessed with peach like it's one of my favorite colors so I was like I need to get this one as you can see it's pretty well loved I mean I could venture to say this is my favorite one of them all I think it is just amazing. I love the color of it. I love how it applies into my skin. It also melts into the skin. It doesn't look heavy or cakey whenever I apply it. It is pretty intense, um, but you can tone it down or you can definitely like just tone it up. Is that how you'd say it? I don't think that's how you'd say it. Or you could intensify it even more with water or with whatever like you guys I do not have enough good things to say about this eyeshadow it's just my life it is my saving grace okay so we're down to the last one and this is another ColourPop highlighter I just have a lot of ColourPop highlighters so I did have to include two um I love the formula of ColourPop I love the way they sit on the skin because of the formula like they're wet even though they dry down to a powder, they're not powdery at all. So they don't look powdery on the skin and they don't look heavy. You know, they just look light and airy. But anyways, this one's Lunch Money and it's a pearlized finish. Um, this is pretty intense and compared to my other highlighters that I showed you today is the one that's most intense, I would say. Um, it's also the one that's like the lightest. And I love this one because whenever I want like a BAM highlighter, I use this one on its own or I can use it to layer it. But I love how it looks on my skin. I love how even though it's very, very intense, it does look maybe not natural, but it does look very like lit from within, you know. It doesn't look like I'm wearing highlighter. It just melts into my skin, molds in with my makeup. And so I don't know if you're going to be able to tell yet again. But I really, really love this one. I love the formula. The color is beautiful for whenever I'm going for something dramatic and I want something intense. Because, as you can probably tell, I don't like highlighters that have glittery chunks on them or like sparkles that you can visually see. I don't like that and I found that most intense highlighters have that. This one doesn't and that's why I love it. And that concludes this video, you guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite highlighters are and what highlighters you recommend to me or to other people from the community. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss out on any other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. Bye!